Here's what we're looking at for Future Tracker. This is a front that uh, is not the front that is stalled along the coast causing the showers, but this is going to be another drier front. And right now we are going to go to Chief Meteorologist Mac Perez. Well, as you can see, uh, we are looking for most of the rain to start moving out of the area sometime tonight. Uh, during the day, you may or may not have felt it, but the north wind kicked in, and finally, um, that was the last hurrah for the rain. Uh, it was not very heavy, but uh, it certainly was messy enough out there. Now, as the rain pulls away, we're looking for a little bit drier air to start coming into the region, and as a result, we're looking for a tranquil situation as we get to the weekend. should be a little bit better than what we had it today. Overnight, uh, we are only getting down into the mid-60s, and tomorrow we're looking for about the low 70s. Not particularly cold. It's not a very cold front, but it will certainly be enough to dry the things out and move everything uh, away from our area. Now, uh, both, most of you are probably wondering, well, what about uh, the cold weather? Well, there's not a lot of cold weather in the short term, which would be, you know, three to seven days. Uh, but uh, temperatures should stay on the mild side of things. So tonight is, will be the sloppiest of the nights. As we start moving toward uh, tomorrow, we should pick up a, a, a north wind. And then we're looking for temperatures to stay in the mid-70s right on through the weekend. Saturday, a little on overcast. Sunday, a little bit more sunshine. And as we get into the Monday and Tuesday time period, we're looking for a better weather situation. Uh, for those of you in the uh, Port Lavaca area, we start off with some cloud cover and some possible fog. Uh, low temperatures down uh, to into the 60s and then high temperatures only getting to about 70 degrees, so not a lot of change. For those of you up in uh, the Cuero area, you'll be a little bit cooler, uh, getting down to about 60 not tonight, and then tomorrow's temperature should top out. But we're going to call it cloudy and overcast in the morning with some fog and then improving weather situations for the rest of the day. I think Sunday, when we get to the seven day, we'll show you that we're looking for a little bit better weather situation. And then as we get into Monday and Tuesday, things will be looking a lot better. Uh, as we get into the seven day forecast, there is a possibility uh, seven days from now that we start getting enough moisture rolling back in to give us a, a little bit of rain activity. But we're not going to worry about that as we get to the weekend. Things will be looking a whole lot better uh, as we get past tonight. Again, uh, the shower our activity tonight will be ending and then the fog will start developing so we'll be rather soupy by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Uh, again, we're uh, live in Port Lavaca, and we certainly want to invite everybody to come out to the Red Barn on the south end of town. Uh, come on by, it's free and you can get a load of some incredible works. All of these have been rescued from, shall we say, their secondhand, but secondhand life. And you really will get the holiday spirit by coming around and looking at over 500 different nativity scenes that they've collected over the years. That's it live from Port Lavaca. We'll toss it back to you, Don.